It is. And the evolution of marine mammals is one of my favorite subjects. It is so fascinating. But marine mammals are called secondary marine forms. A secondary marine form is, is one that came out on land and then moved back into the marine environment. So all marine mammals are secondary marine forms. All seabirds, all marine reptiles came from terrestrial ancestors that moved back. And in the case of marine mammals, the closest living relative to cetaceans, whales, dolphins, and porpoises is the hippopotamus. And ancient cetaceans went through phases that was much like modern day hippopotami. Um, they lived in shallow swampy environments. They were probably um, uh, slow moving, a little bit cumbersome, and then over time they developed uh, flukes, that big propulsive tail. They lost their forearms and they turned into flippers. Uh, their hind limbs were lost altogether. It's, it's a just absolutely fascinating story. How do we know all that? That's a great question! <laughs> the fossil record! The fossil record! So there are all these intermediate forms that we found uh, through skeletal morphology. So the very earliest cetacean ancestor is this um, group of animals known as Pachycetus. And it was a little sort of small dog-like creature that was terrestrial with four limbs. We link that to modern day cetaceans because it had ear bones that were adapted probably for underwater hearing. So despite the fact that it looks totally, totally like a terrestrial animal, it did spend some time in, in water. And then, you know, you fast forward through all these stages of, um, they're called archaeocetes, literally Latin for um, ancient whale. And there are a whole bunch of different lineages of those. And we can find lineages that uh, have hind limbs where the articulation with the pelvic girdle is such that it's clear that the hind limb doesn't fall right below the body, it's stuck out behind. And that is an indication that they use their hind limbs for uh, swimming more. Um, there are uh, lineages where the hind limbs become smaller and smaller and finally the only thing that's left in modern day cetaceans, the hind limbs are gone altogether, the pelvic girdle um, is reduced to two free-floating uh, bones that are just buried in the those are the uh, that are buried in the abdominal cavity so there are a lot of um, fossil fossilized evidence of these lineages and that trans transition and the progression from those small terrestrial animals to modern-day cetaceans it's a fascinating fascinating story awesome Thank yeah you.